All right, we're back. We got the uh, T-Rex. Oh yeah, I think it's aggressive looking. This is uh, the Invicta plastic dinosaur. King, uh, <clears throat> in collaboration with the British Museum, they made these back in the 70s. I think 74 is when they started. This one I think is actually labeled 77. It was the British Museum slash Natural History Museum. These were considered fairly scientifically accurate. Uh, designed with input from official endorsements of the museum, paleontologists, and curators. That's pretty cool. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ooh, let's go through some interesting stuff about him. I had to put a little piece of uh, adhesive here because this guy tends to want to fall that way. It's kind of, I don't know if the molding's bad, but like when I put that little shim there, this foot sits flat. When I take that shim out, that foot's at an angle. So I'm not sure what's going on. It maybe got bent over the years. But uh, it was estimated to have a bite force of 35,000 to 57,000 newtons, enough to crush bone. Well, yeah, I, I would assume that's enough to crush bone. Its teeth could be up to 12 inches long, including the root, and was shaped like a thick serrated cone, ideal for puncturing and crushing. It's estimated that it was not a fast runner, uh, based on biomechanical analysis, suggesting that top speed was 10 to 12 miles an hour. Now, personally, one thing I've always noticed about these little guys, see these little hands up here? Now, I cannot for the life of me assume that these little danglers were hanging out. Those would have been tucked back like a chicken's wing. Like, am I imagining that? Is that my imagination? Like, I've never seen a chicken walk around with his little wings hanging down like that. They'd be tucked back waiting for barbecue sauce or like, uh, you know, hot wing sauce. But, you know, what do I know? I imagine these were just giant chickens. That's what I imagine. I bet that part right there, delicious. People be fighting over that. Anyways, sense of smell, they assume, was highly developed, indicated by a large olfactory bulb in its brain, which helped track play, prey and locate carcasses. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, here, they're dressing the arms. While small in proportion of the body, the arms were muscular and strong, saying his theories that may be used to help the dinosaur get up from a prone position to hold prey during mating. So I guess there's a comma there to hold prey or during mating. I can't imagine that for a second. I've never seen a chicken use its uh, arms to get off the ground. I mean, come on now, let's be real. What else do we got here? Yeah, I just can't buy the arm thing. I just never, never in my life did I ever believe the arm thing on a, on a T-Rex. I just cannot... I mean, have you seen a cassowary or a or an ostrich use its arms to get up? Like, it's just like, let's be real, dude. Like, be real. I'm not a scientist. Don't quote me on any of that. <laughs> uh, would I want to be uh, chased by one of these things at 10 miles an hour? I would pass. I mean, 12-inch teeth. Yeah, that thing's going out to eat. It's eating. Maybe it was a scavenger and just ate all the dead giant dinosaurs. I have no idea. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine they just look like that, though. I don't know what they actually look like, but... Pretty crazy to think these things walk the earth. Let's look at the bottom of this thing. Man, 100% of going upside down every time. I'm going to put my thumb over that so you don't have to be distracted by the... Uh... Right, Tronosaurus, there's the 1977, if I can make it focus. I'm not making that up, although the focus is struggle bussing right now. There it is. Clammy 12 meters long. Yeah. Let's take the adhesive off and see if I can get him to stand upright. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, now I'm a liar. Yeah, see how he wants to... He's a little, oh man, that focus, refocus, Come, sorry about that, it, uh, he's a little tippy, Let's see, so for scientific reasons, I'm adding this little tiny wedge there, and, uh, making sure he does not fall, there you go, 
pretty sweet dinosaur. Always a big fan of the T-Rex. Stay safe.